So welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to make a teardown of this smartphone camera. And it's actually hard to believe that something so small can actually make pictures. So the camera is actually connected using this connector. I will un unplug it. And the whole camera is just this. And this one is 3 megapixel camera. But I think in some iPhones or smartphones you can get even 8 megapixels, 10 or 13 megapixels in such a tiny package. So this is the camera. And let's take it to bed. So at the bottom of the camera there's actually the CMOS or CCD chip. I'm not sure I think this is a CMOS chip because the CCD chip basically usually uh, draws too much power for a smartphone or iPhone. So this is the CCD chip. It's basically a light sensor. Here you can see the frame and in the reflection you can even see the basic colors, red, green and blue. And it's just an array of pixels, an array of probably 3 million sensitive cells, which basically are sensitive to light. And this will just convert the light to a picture. And there's also a lens. And just like in any camera or even in a human eye, there are lens which are going to project the picture on this sensor. CMOS sensor probably and this CMOS sensor will convert the picture to data. There is an array of sensitive cells. This is the sensor when I simplify it. It's just an array of photosensitive cells and each one is one pixel. It's very tiny. And this is the lens and there's also the, the infrared filter which I will try to remove from it. Actually it's going to be harder than I thought. Okay, I will take it from the other side. I will try to grab the lens. And the lens actually is screwed into the holder, so... If I just grip it and try to rotate it, I will manage to get it out. I will try to stay in the view of the camera. Yeah, it's already turning. And it's screwable for, for a reason, because it's actually necessary to put the camera into focus. So during the manufacture they will actually uh, screw it until the picture gets into focus. Because the lens actually has to be in some exactly perfect distance from the chip to make sharp picture. When it's too close or too far the picture will be blurry. Just like this. Now it focused. Uh, my camera I am using to record the video actually has autofocus. But this simple cheap camera is so called focus free camera which is basically just focused to the distance all the time. And it, does, it has no moving parts so it basically is always all the time seeing just into the distance and anything closer is usually slightly out of focus. There is the last part of the camera and that's the, that's the infrared filter. And I will try to remove just the bare filter glass from the holder. Yeah, it's out. Be careful, this is sharp. And let's see the filter. It's a very strange piece of glass, very distinctive and I will have to turn the brightness a little bit down and this infrared filter is a very distinctive piece of glass because when you look at some angle 
It is almost clear glass. When you look from different angle, it's suddenly blue or cyan color. It's almost like magic. It's changing colors. Cyan, transparent. And when I take a look at a reflection, the reflection actually is uh, pinkish or a reddish color. So it's very easy to recognize this is the infrared filter because it's very distinctive. And how does the filter work? It simply passes the visible light but it reflects the infrared light. And why this filter is necessary? This is because the chip itself is sensitive to infrared light. So if you want to make a picture just like the human eye can see it, you must make the chip sensitive only to visible light. And this is why the infrared filter is very useful in the cameras. But if you want to make a night vision or another camera sensitive to infrared light, you have to remove the filter.